let's add a few buttons over here to add a new author i can add a new button at the bottom right of this author's control on click of that button we can add this author control also we have to add one button over here in front of this control just to remove it from this particular form let's understand how to do that so this is the html that we are using and here is this authors okay let's create one button at this place here i'm writing the button add more and over here just let's use the click event and in the click event let's add add more author let's implement this method in the in the ts file over here so here i can use public add more authors and because we can get the authors array from this property so let's use this one i'm writing this dot authors dot push and we already have one group that we have created in one of the previous video which was this get author control so i can push it over here this dot get author control and that's it we are done with this change save everything go back to the browser by default you will see we are having two controls if i will click on this one you will see we are having one more click on this one we are having one more click 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 and because of this approach we are having so many author controls at this place now if you will see the values over here in this json file we are having the authors we are having one two three four five six seven and you can add any number of authors over here by using this add more button now let's say i have added something by mistake and i want to remove that to handle that scenario let's add one more button over here so let's see if it is fine or not so we have this button and we can use the matte button to get proper design this one see it is looking good now let's add this matte button on this add more also we are having this add more button and we are having this remove button now let's implement this remove method so here i'm writing the click event and here i'm writing remove author cool let's create this method in this ts file so over here i can use it public remove author now i just need to know which author i want to remove and i can identify that easily by using this index so this is the index that we are using and i can pass it over here like this i then here in the cts file i can use it as a parameter the type is number cool now i can remove it from this authors property again i can get everything from this authors if you want to write long code then you can use this entire line also but because i like to write code in the short manner so i'm using this this dot authors dot remove at and here i have to provide the index the index we already have in this i save all the changes go back to the browser and this time you will see by default we are having two if i will remove you will see we are having only one let's remove everything is gone click on the add more button we are having one control like this if i'm having one two three and i have added this two by mistake let's click on this one two is gone we are having only one and three this is how you can use form array in your application